But anyway, it is great to be here today at this world's biggest biotech convention. And I love shooting, of course, for the stars, and I'm sure that all of you do too. So as governor, I could not be more excited of being here today where you're holding again this uh, world conference, not only in the state of California, and I want to welcome you to California, but also in the beautiful city of San Diego. And San Diego, of course, is a special place because it is the home of the Jonas uh, Salk Institute. As proud as I am of being the governor while all of this action is taking place here in California, this is also somewhat personal for me. I've talked many times about my father-in-law, Sergeant Schreiber, who I think is one of the best public servants we've ever had in this country. He created the Peace Corps, the Job Corps, Legal Aid to the Poor, VISTA, and the list goes on and on and on. All under the Kennedy administration and now is suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Now, I've seen firsthand the devastating effect this disease has had on him and his family. I've seen him not recognizing his wife and not recognizing his children or grandchildren. And I've seen it personally, how he comes into my room when I stay at his house, and he asks if he can use the scale to weigh himself, only to come back two minutes later and again ask if he can use the scale to weigh himself and to do this 10 times over. So it is really, I mean, it breaks my heart to see that. And this is something, of course, that affects not only my wife's family, but it is a story that is familiar to millions and millions of people around the world. For our state to be in the forefront of research that might someday ease their suffering is a great feeling, and I feel so wonderful that I was part of the whole campaign to make sure that the people vote yes on Proposition 71 for the $3 billion on stem cell research. In California, biotech is making inroads, of course, in other areas as well. With the world's first low-carbon fuel standard, we again are stepping up where Washington has been reluctant to show the way. We are leading in the fight against global warming, and we have made a commitment in the past laws to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions uh, back to the 1990 level by the year 2020, and then an additional 80% by the year 2050. We are also working hard to develop alternative fuels to reduce our dependence on dirty, expensive oil. We do it without subsidies and without picking which fuel will win. We are instead calling for the scientists and the entrepreneurs to come up with a low-carbon solution, opening the door to even more California innovation. Because of this commitment, BP, the global energy firm, has agreed to invest a half a billion dollars in an Alternative Energy Institute at UC Berkeley. We are very happy about that. It is more music to my ears. And that is why I think it is so important that California's Research and Development Tax Credit or the program that allows companies to carry forward net operating losses and uh, to deduct them later when you show the profits. I will fight for that in my budget negotiations. Biotech is a lot more than just uh, people in white coats and doing their research. Biotech is a business. Now, your organization's mission is to expand the boundaries of science to benefit mankind by providing better health care, enhance agriculture, and a cleaner, safer environment. Together, we have made great strides to do all of that and much more.